Alright guys, in today's video I'm back to Old Faithful, back to Spell Singers. While I don't know, you know what game I'm going to prim um, primarily play in 2024, I'm hoping it's Clash Mini if it ever comes to global, but we'll see. So this is, um, it's Settled Herp Derp, it's basically an ultimate cheese deck, it's a reanimator deck. So you're trying to reanimate uh, Soul Server Lich, so Relentless just means when it dies it comes back but it's unable to block, attack, deal damage equal to your opponent, equal to half uh, their health rounded up. So just ends the game really fast. And then Grim Grin has Relentless. After Grim Grim is summoned from any graveyard, transform an enemy creature with the least power into a zombie and gain control of it. So just kind of insane, just removal and builds a board for no reason. We have Ebon Death, summon the strongest creature in your graveyard, so he's a threat and a, another way of reanimating. And then we have a one of Grave Titan debut and attack summon a zombie, so just a good mid-range card. Uh, we have Grave Disturbance, after an opponent attacks, summon a zombie, so just a 1-drop 2-2 two, two zombie. Just early defense. Unsummon, return any target to hand, super important for tempo. Anticipate helps you find your pieces. Zombify, drop the zombie from your graveyard and summon it, so uh, the best reanimator card in the deck. Drain Blood, drain 2 from an enemy creature, so more board control. Divination, just to uh, find your pieces again. Corpse Conveyor, activate mill the top creature from your deck and summon a zombie. So again, this is why we're running like um, so many spells like this instead of an actual body. So that way we mill these guys that we want to uh, reanimate. Transparent Hallway, 3-drop uh, trap after your opponent attacks, summon a gelatinous cube. So it's just a 3-drop 3-6 uh, creature that it summons, but it's not an actual creature so it doesn't get in the way of the Corpse Conveyor. Then we have uh, Bag of Devouring, activate, discard a creature in your hand with the lowest cost to draw a card. So if you draw one of these guys you want to reanimate, this gives you a way of dumping it out and then drawing. Invest gives all creatures minus two, minus two, so uh, board clear. Uh, Flagrant Foul, destroy an enemy creature, so just more board control. Here's some return, summon the strongest creature in your graveyard, so it's just another way of reanimating. And then we have the Ghoul Collar Grimoire. Destroy a friendly creature to summon the strongest creature in your graveyard. This can also proc um, your, a Relentless Trigger, for example, from uh, Grimgrin. So that's another way of reanimating targets. And then we run uh, Old Graveyard. So starting on turn 7, you have a chance to add a random zombie to your hand instead of getting a Mana Gem. So this is another way for your deck to uh, get bodies without having them in the main deck, messing with the Corpse Conveyor. Also, if it gives you... a uh, a monster or creature that you don't want, you can use Bag of Devouring to discard it and cycle. So we'll see how it goes. All right. I recognize that name, I think. Let's slay some spells. This game was so good, man. I, I really wish I would have just kept making content for it. It's the beauty of a game. Okay, so we have got the belt. We drew two targets for reanimation. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Now we need like a bag of devouring. I heard the stadium needs wrecking. Listen to nature. Oh, that could be an issue. That could be a big problem if they if they go really greedy, Vivian. I'm hoping they just bank an upgrade instead of summoning the wolf. If they summon the wolf, that's that's really bad. Show them your Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> this is a terrible draw. Truly abysmal. Okay. Grimgrin would be an excellent thing to bring back. I can deal with all this garbage. I can block and then just hold this up as well, which I might I might do. They should attack before they do squat. Okay, now I'm going to just take that and foul it. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, so bye bye. Attack. Let's put um, Lich in the grave, hopefully. Okay, Ebon Death, of course. 
Now I'm hoping they go really tall, summon like a, a big annoying five cost thing, and then I reanimate Grimgrin and I steal it. Not quite. I've always hated Vivian's laugh, even though she's one of my favorite uh, spell slingers to play. I've always hated it. Remember it says with the least power, right? Because I'd like to take that from them. It does. Look at that. Who's the beatdown deck now? <laughs> Who laughs like that? Psychopaths. Show them your teeth. What, what is that? Is that what is that? Relentless? No, stop. Show me what this is. How do I check? I thought there was a way to like look. Oh, okay, it was Ward. It's Ward. Ward's always had that weird symbol. Um. I think we just attack. Summon the Grave Titan, right? <laughs> they still have to even use the uh, the ramp card. If they do that, they're going to have uh, four mana to uh, develop on the board. So I think this is just uh, over. Pick your poison. Okay, they still haven't even played the the Barkhide Growth, right? Not crazy. No. Fully healing, destroying an artifact or any of that is, is pretty bad. Oh, they're running this garbage. This card is a trap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, is he just trying to get this trade? I don't, I don't super care. Let's get the um, other, yeah, out of my deck. I don't want it in my deck. Um, we can arm these in case something stupid happens. Yikes. They only have six mana. Sure. I hope we draw an unsummon. That'd be really funny. Oh, uh, Infest might just... Well, it kills all my two twos. It's actually kind of annoying. It's a little... It's a decent stall. Unsummon would be fantastic here. Okay, so... I mean, this is still kind of insane. Alright, yeah, I mean, that was kind of, that was pretty obnoxious, so... I understand. Ooh, Soren. Okay. Soren's super fun. They have a basic land, though. Um, okay. Don't want those. Reanimation card. Yes! Yes! This person is... I'm four, I'm four years this person's elder, it seems. Time to put on a good show. You are utterly insignificant. Play something I can drain blood. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's their first turn, they have to think a long time. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That card's that card's not fair. 
two drop two three that has a very good effect. Um, I mean, it still doesn't even answer it, so. I mean, I, I could have used this, then used a conveyor belt to block the next turn, but, uh. This card's really good, though. It's one of the best vampires by a lot. Uh. Do, 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 do. It's funny that, because on turn. Turn four, I'm gonna double reanimate giant things. Yeah, I should have. I should have used this like I thought. I should have used this. I can set up blocks, make Grim Grim better. Still something more significant. Oh wow. Okay. Infest is very interesting, um, but it is not. Uh, it's not what we want to do. Ooh, that's a really good target. Okay, I like that. I like that. Sure. I'm just gonna block this. Use the the big things. I'm gonna reanimate next turn to block the two threes. I don't care about. Hey, here we go. Um. And that's how you build a board on turn four. Stinky, stinky cheese. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if they just scooped. That's what I would do. If they play anything that's remotely threatening, I'm just going to foul it and attack. Make another 2-2. Two -two. The game is mega ultra over. And it required a lot of skill, as you can see. Oh, yes. Watch your back. <laughs> you are tiny. You tell him, Grim Grin. Um. I think they're contemplating the scoop now. They have a lot to think about with five mana, three cards. I hate when people play like this. Like, just concede. I must strike. Ah, oh, yes, the roping. Block the Grim Grin and take 10 and rope me again. Stay classy. Okay, Gideon Gideon can actually get me um, if I draw badly. Um, they can go under me and uh, take me out. So, gotta keep my anti aggro cards. I'm going second, which is actually pretty scary. Um, 
I'm gonna hard mole because I need to I need to cheat my way to victory. Um, I didn't see uh, infest. Oh, this. Oh. Not a chance. I was looking for drain blood, the one drop trap, infest, things like that. Not things like this. They've got to play a one drop. There's no way they don't play a one drop. Gideon runs like half the decks one drops. Uh, that one needs to be really broken too. Oh my. A 3-6 on my second turn might not be too bad, though. I'm going to have to go for this. And they will get a, a Gideon proc on their um, third turn, which is, is pretty good. Unless I draw, like, a Drain Blood or something, and I might just pop one to rob them of a Gideon proc, but I doubt it. I'd rather get, like, an actual body on the board. But, um, yeah, Infest would be great. If I top deck Infest, I'll just pass. Okay. Do the one damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I can't do it anymore because... I mean, it would answer two things, right? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just skipped my first three turns against Gideon. <laughs> oh man, and I just didn't I didn't see any of the um the early tools I wanted to see. Okay, now that's that's a little annoying. I wanted them to play something that would actually die to the infest. At least they're not gonna get a, a Gideon proc, I suppose. And I'm only gonna take two damage next turn. If I, if I get there's something wrong with my wrist, but if I could uh, draw a drain blood or something, that'd be great. We are invincible. Or top deck another infest, that'd be that'd be the best, right? The best defense is my okay. Find our place. Thought I did it for a second. Okay, let's actually get on the board. a really bad draw by me. Really bad draw. Oh wow, they just they're going all in since I played one infest. I got your shield right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's block here. I'll take three. I almost need the second infest if I want to have any chance of, of living at all. You can pass now. Thank you. One turn away from this. Um, maybe I can get a Drain Blood. Maybe an Anticipate. Good grief. What an absolutely abysmal draw. So, I'm going to take uh, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, it looks like. A lot more than nine. Am I dead? That's a block Gideon now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I don't block Gideon and I want to take out a creature on the board, so that would be three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, so it technically wouldn't kill me. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. 4, 7, 8, uh, 10, 11. Yeah. Invest would save me. Maybe. Someone another weenie that dies to Infest. Infest off the top. Um, well fought. not really, dude. <laughs> oh my god, what a D-bag. If we play each other 9 out of 10 times, I'm going to win this. Uh, um, mm. 
problem is I can't answer this and this. I mean, that takes out... I would go up to four health after this. And then I could block this, and this is exactly four. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Because I have to block... Um... Oh, I just have to block Gideon, and then I'm, I'm super dead. This would be four plus Gideon, so... I want to verse the uh, Gideon player again, because I drew so badly. I didn't play any cards the first three turns, and then they, like, at the end taunt. It's like, why are you so stupid? I'm an aggro deck, and my opponent didn't play any cards the first three turns in a one. <laughs> Like, and there's so many anti-aggro cards, just didn't draw them. Against Liliana, I can hard mull for um, the pieces. There's one piece. Literally just this, Hello. and the Gideon player would have lost last game. I'm going to enjoy this. Make your vow. I doubt they have anything with haste, but their splash could be red. I don't know. It's yours to command. Uh huh. Let's go. I will not block this, by the way. It's going to die in the course of two turns. Okay, I guess they know that. Let's get an army of zombies going. Any reanimation card would have been good. Grave Titan's a solid drop. After that, if I don't draw a reanimation, I can foul and then get back my Grim Grin, so should be totally fine. This card's so nasty. Are they gonna foul this and attack? Maybe. Your death oh dear. Entertains me. Um. Well, I guess this is exactly what I was talking about, eh? Well played. You know, actually, let's um. I don't want to cycle for some some cards here. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I want to make sure Grim Grin comes back. I'm hoping this attacks because they think this is the only thing I have and 3 6 will answer it. So. Sure. There we go. Woo! Sure. Almost. 
steal it. Just pass. I'll zombify. For Gristlebrand. Wait, why couldn't you brought back Gristlebrand? I just fouled it, right? No. Oh, he's not a zombie. Duh. Okay. Jesus, if it was anything, could you imagine? I don't care which one it takes anymore. Okay, he's gonna take that one still. Uh, didn't kill my Grave Titan with this. Do not care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is a six four. Like it's a big boy, right? I should have just attacked first and then played the Grim Grin. I've been playing a bunch of card games where five is not the limit on the board. Oh, it wants to doom everybody? Well, then I might as well. It's gonna block and then, uh, rain blood. Okay, so, drain blood. I'll let him block, it'll save my foul if he wants to save the damage. Here. Me. Um, I mean, I'm at the point where I can just play this, right? I'm fine with this. Hmm. I like it. Hmm, because it's the strongest in any graveyard. Is this to the owner's hand? No. Doesn't work like that. How do I want this to work? I mean, if I attack here... <clears throat> just attack first and see what happens. Okay, I was really hoping for that. So I, I really, really appreciate that. Um... So now we can foul. So now we can zombify. Shucks. Well, this could block his Ebon Death, I guess. Not the end of the world. That was spicy. Yeah, I mean, I have to. As soon as I attack with mine, I'm not going to keep endlessly taking this anyway. Grim Grin. I was looking for infest. I don't want to get rid of my Lich. <laughs> the one Ebon Death they had, like, basically turned them into me for a second. Oh my. That's why I played this. I was hoping to get something. 
Um, this is the lowest. Let's do it. Okay. Now, if I unsummon this and attack, I think I just want to win this, right? better. I'm going to do it afterwards. Alright, now I'm going to take it. Okay. What is the deck they're playing, man? They're playing the wackiest deck. Like, it makes no sense. It's like mid range and then has like the greediest top end I've ever seen. Really glad this is an 8 8, otherwise, I'd be in real trouble. Um. I can attack here, here, and here. What the hell was that card they run? Okay. Okay, good. Blockers. Death will not save you from me. What's the strongest creature in my graveyard? Is it Grimgrin? This can't block anyway. That's what I thought. Now he could he could foul or something and my grave disturbance will still get a block, so Yeah. Okay. Um So if um if this blocks, right? Now this blocks here, and it comes back and I steal the block. There we go. Excellent. That wasn't a waste of time after all. Figures or something else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just gonna play that out so I don't have to do it later. I get land is proc so many times. I just want to show. Okay. Does this make um four or? One, two, three, four. It doesn't make four. I'll do I'll do one more then. Five five sounds like a nicer round number. Oh good grief, I hate dreads. If you're if you've watched the channel, 
in the past when this game first came out and Drift Three, first came out, it was a really two, toxic meta with Drift, one, and five. it uh, gives me PTSD. Uh, no. Okay. I might, I might cheese him yet. Well then, let events take their course. I, I very well may cheese him. Watch Wolf, the infamous turn two play. All right, now I'm looking for Zombify. None of that Zombify, but I'll take this though. Can help me fight for the board later, and it's also a target that won't be milled by Corpse Conveyor when I'm trying to get the really broken stuff like Grimgrin and Lich. If I hit Grim Grim with the first one, I'll stop using it, so that way Grim Grim Guaranteed comes out on uh, on turn five. Oh. Let's find out together. Okay, it wasn't, so now I have no reason just to not go mill crazy. They might have some kind of interruption for this and just attack and make a bigger kitty. That's fine with me. My turn five is Lich into Grave Titan, so if they can beat that, then you know, who does, right? Uh, no, don't care. Okay. Two of those. Okay. Now. Yeah, I think I just do this. I want you to block. It's fine too. And now I'm just gonna block to save my health total. Then I'm going to go Lich and Grave Titan. Whoa! Look at you. I'll sacrifice the oldest one. So block some damage, clear up some faith on the board, because Lich and Grave Titan are going to take up three spaces on their own. I don't want to get caught not having the Grave Titan proc happen on six, because after five, they might not do anything. It's gonna be Ebon Death, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if I got. I think I got both Liches and uh, what's his face in there. So, cool. I mean, I could also Divination and just Transparent Hallway to try and find more reanimation targets instead of going for the Grave Titan, but who knows? Who knows? A Dritz bot deck. I guess they could give you legendaries. I don't know. Um, Alright, where's the trap? No trap. I just want to get the attack proc off. I don't care how long he stays here. Um, let's attack. Block, block. What are you doing? They don't even know how to block. Oh, 
Well, now that they're at eight, I'll just keep up the uh, pressure, I guess. It'd be really funny if they summon like one big legendary thing that doesn't have ward. Um, trigger my thing, I bounce their thing, attack her game. I can just also just remove two things with foul and un unsummon, so that that's probably pretty likely, actually. Play four drop. Like a Zuzu or something. Really get me. Okay. Is it my turn yet? Alright, so we can follow that. Unsummon that. Alright guys, I felt like doing more games than normal. I don't know, I guess because a lot of these games are really short and cheesy. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.